We're going to be combining two-dimensional shapes. This is lesson 12.3. We can put two-dimensional shapes together to make new two-dimensional shapes. We can make a trapezoid with three triangles. Here we have a trapezoid and if I put one, two, three triangles together, watch what happens. Look. It made a trapezoid. See that? It's got the same shape as that trapezoid and we did it with three triangles. We can make a rectangle with two squares. We can take two squares and put them together real close like that and make a rectangle. Here's a rhombus. We can put two triangles together and make a rhombus. If I slide them together like this, look, they make a rhombus just like this one, see? We can make a regular hexagon with two trapezoids. Here we have a regular hexagon. And if I slide these two trapezoids real close together, look, I made a regular hexagon with the two trapezoids. We can make a regular hexagon with six triangles. We can put the triangles together real close Make it so they're touching. And look, it made a regular hexagon. Circle the two shapes that make this shape when put together. So which of these two shapes, a triangle and a triangle, or would it be these two, a rhombus and a rhombus, or would it be a square and a square, that when they're put together, they would make this shape? Well, when we put the two triangles together, it's not long like this one, is it? It just makes a rhombus. And when we put the two squares together, it makes a rectangle, and the sides aren't slanting, are they? But when we squeeze these two rhombuses together, we make the same looking shape, don't we? So it'd be this one. This shape is actually called a parallelogram, and you're going to learn about that as you get older. We can make a regular hexagon with one trapezoid and three triangles. So here's our regular hexagon. All we have to do is slide them together a trapezoid and three triangles, and we can make a regular hexagon. We can make a regular hexagon with three rhombuses. We put one on its side like this, another one touching it like that, and then this one standing up like a diamond. See that? And when we put them together, it makes a regular hexagon. Now we can call more than one rhombus, rhombuses. We can also call it rhombi. Either way is considered correct. Okay? Two squares make a rectangle. We have two squares and they're making a rectangle. So how many squares do we need to make four rectangles? Well, if two of them makes one rectangle, that makes one rectangle. We need to make four of them. Well, let's count and find out how many squares we need and we'll build some rectangles. I have some squares here. We need to make four rectangles. So here's two squares. That makes one rectangle. We'll get two more. That makes two rectangles. We'll grab a couple more. That's three rectangles. We'll grab a couple more. And that's four rectangles. So how many squares do we need to make four rectangles? 
we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight squares makes four rectangles. We need two trapezoids to make a regular hexagon. When we squeeze it together like this, it makes a regular hexagon. So how many trapezoids do we need to make three regular hexagons? We want to make three of these. How many trapezoids do we need? Do you know? Let's try building some. We need two trapezoids to make one hexagon. Okay, so that's one. We need to build three, though. We can grab a couple more. Put them together. And they don't have to be sideways like that. They could be up and down like this, and it still makes a hexagon. See that? Or even a little slanted. See? Okay, that's two, tra that's two regular hexagons, but we need three regular hexagons. So we need to get a couple more. So how many trapezoids did we use? We used one, two, three, four, five, six. We needed six trapezoids to make three regular hexagons. In our next lesson, we're going to combine more shapes that are two-dimensional. That'll be lesson 12.4. And if you'd like to get some pattern shapes like this. You can order them online from Learning Resources. Mine are magnetic so they stick to the dry erase board. And you can get some made out of wood or made out of plastic. You could even make your own with paper and construction paper. I made some shapes over here out of construction paper and poster board. So you could even make your own, okay? All right, so keep trying. Keep doing good work, and I'll see you next time, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.